Well, it is National Soup Month, and nothing warms you up quite like a good bowl of soup during the winter season. But sometimes eating the same bowl over and over again can get a little tiresome. So we invited the people from a popular Detroit lunch spot, Lunchtime Global, to show us how to kick things up a notch. We want to welcome head chef and general manager Carrie Hellman to the set. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for coming in. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You're, like, very popular in here today. You know that, right? I'm popular yeah, everywhere. Yeah. I love it. Good answer. Yeah. I mean, high five, well, girl. So, high five. That's that yeah. girl power right it there. Is. All right, so what have you brought in? I have brought a few examples of some new and creative soups that I do at Lunchtime Global. Mm -hmm. um, I like to take things that aren't necessarily soup and make them into soups. So one of our most popular ones is chicken Philly cheesesteak. Oh. That is very popular downtown. Um, I did African peanut, which I used peanut butter and chicken in. Mm. Peanut butter is an unexpected ingredient in soup, and it adds to the texture, and it adds to the protein content of a soup, so something good, nice to try at home. Nice. Um, I did chicken tikka masala, Ooh. which is a good way to spice things up. Um, you can use curry paste, which is readily available at any grocery store nowadays. Um, I did spinach and artichoke dip, which is a different take on a soup. Um, I did a vegan black bean and quinoa chili. That looks like uh, sauce, looks like, like a marinara right sauce for spaghetti. Yep. <laughs> and then I also did a chicken pot pie. Love it. I love so. it. I love it. Are you going to pass me a bowl? Is that what yes. you're we have I, was, I, I heard the vegan black bean and I was like, yes. I heard chicken cheese. Let me get this. <laughs> and I was like, I get know. some ladles. Get some bowls. So what do you think makes a really interesting soup? Um, personally, for me, I think the like the spice blend, and then I like to have a story behind it. I guess mm. I like to make soups for the people in my life. Mm. I like to make soups for our customers. I like to take um, inspiration from places I've been, things I've had, and just try to translate that into soup itself. I love it. And I love how you're making them kind of exotic, like the yeah. African peanut, which is like very Senegalese, West African, right. and the Indian tiki masala. Mm -hmm. That's just such a nice way to change it up. And these are things that we can mm. actually do at home. Yeah, everything you can do at home. There's nothing outrageous. There's nothing crazy that I had to source from Right. Some ridiculous place. <laughs> right. like, you can literally get right. everything locally. You can get everything, you know, just at a normal grocery store. This is delicious. This is this really Velveeta? Good. This is American. Mm. There's American in there. That just happens to be a big chunk of it, but yeah. Mm. So tell us a little bit more about Lunchtime Global. You guys um, serve more than just soups. Yeah, Lunchtime Global. We are lunch focused, mm. obviously. Um, it's located in the First National Building, which is right downtown on Congress Street side of the building. Mm -hmm. We do mm. soups, salads, sandwiches. Oh, I do desserts. No, sorry, watch it. We do. No. Mm -hmm. We do hot food every day. It changes every day, except for Thursdays. We do barbecue chicken, jalapeno mac and cheese from scratch, and veggies. Ooh. Yes, I do everything from scratch. Jalapeno right. mac and Hidden cheese. Jam, jalapeno girl. mac and cheese. Um, we do. Uh, we have an entire cold case. We fill it up with pasta salads, lunch boxes, snack packs, yogurt parfaits, fresh fruit, um, anything that comes to my mind that I. Feel like giving the people honestly so you're um, kind of sharing your love and your food sharing my love sharing my knowledge sharing yeah sharing your a little recipes. bit of myself yeah sharing my recipes all of these are my recipes um, i have about 400 to 500 soups it's amazing like in my brain because i don't write anything down which is yeah, you're, kind you're of crazy. a real one yeah yeah it's like it's all up here baby. it's all up here <laughs> i like to keep it up there so what do you suggest like we make some soup at home what's the you know, one or two quick tips that you could give us to take our soup up a notch at home. Um, one quick tip for soups with rice, which I think is important because a lot of people have issues with the rice soaking up all the liquid mm -hmm. and just, you know, you can't really eat it the next day, is use parboiled rice or cook your rice first and then put it in the soup. I like that. Because then it won't take up all the stock that you took so much time to make and uh, it won't take up all the flavor. And it won't be mush. And it won't be mush the next day. Mm -hmm. Um, another one is use exotic ingredients. Like, not a lot of people would put an artichoke in a soup, but I will. It's brilliant, though. Because it tastes good. Just try it. Um, well, this is delicious. Thank is. you. This is amazing. Yeah. Got a little kick to it, too. Carrie, thank you so much. You're very welcome. I have to come and visit you. Yes, it's a short walk anytime. From here. It's a short walk. Happy National